Hey readers, welcome back. Today we will be reading Easter by Miriam Nurlove. Easter by Miriam Nurlove. When spring arrives and Easter's here, it feels just like a brand new year. Winter's gone, so is the snow. The grass and flowers start to grow. Shh, let's be quiet, not a sound. The Easter bunnies hopping round. We boil some eggs on Saturday and color them in just this way. We use our crayons and special dye. What a mess we make. Oh my. By Easter Sunday's morning light, we find what bunny left last night. Some baskets filled with jelly beans and chocolate eggs with yellow cream. Now let's put on your Easter dress so you can look your very best. Add bright black shoes and lacy socks and take your new hat from the box. Graham and Gramps have come today. We're off to church to sing and pray. Inside the church, the lilies bloom. Can you smell their sweet perfume? We hear the Easter stories soon. We think of Friday Jesus died when people felt so sad inside. Women came to his tomb at dawn on Easter Sunday. He was gone. The tombstone had been rolled away. An angel came to them to say, Jesus Christ has risen today. Back at home, we watch and wait. Our family's here. Let's celebrate. The Easter dinner tastes so good. We eat more than we thought we could. Then Daddy disappears outside. We think he took some eggs to hide. Let's hunt for eggs. Look over there. Easter eggs are everywhere, but still there's one thing left to do. <clears throat> Let's share a candy egg or two. The end. Thanks for reading Easter with me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to read your favorite book to the like button. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. It really does help our channel out. I encourage you to read all that you can. Until next time, bye.